How many times do you hear like in a conversation? So many, right? I'm sure you know how to use it to talk about feelings and preferences. Like when we say, I like pizza. But the truth is, that's the least common situation in which we use like. So today, I'm gonna to teach you how to use like in all these other more common situations to sound like a real native speaker. All right, so believe it or not, we use like also to introduce an example, to talk about similarities, or even to report or say again what other people have said. Crazy, right? We can do so much with this little word. So let's look at each of these situations carefully. All right, first situation is when we use like is to introduce an example. Like in this sentence, I love all tropical fruit, like mango, papaya, and avocado. See, here we use like to give some examples of the tropical fruit we like. In this case, it simply means for example. I love all tropical fruit. For example, mango, papaya, and avocado. Cool. Second situation is when we use like to talk about similarities. For example, we can say, Jack is just like my dad. He always tells me what to do. See, in this case, I want to say that Jack is similar to my dad because they both always tell me what to do. Their personality is similar. They behave in a similar way. So is like, in this case, means is similar to. Now, the thing is that we can also add the word look before like, if the similarity is about somebody's appearance, as in how they look, if they are physically similar to another person. For example, if I say, Jack looks like my dad, I just want to say that they look similar. Perhaps their faces are similar, Maybe they have the same eyes, the same nose, the same haircut. But remember, this one is only about their appearance. It has nothing to do with their personality. So there you go. Looks like means physically similar. Cool. Now, before I tell you about the third and most common situation in which we use like, let me tell you why you should study with us at English Unlimited. Come and study English in Australia at English Unlimited. We have English schools in the best cities in Australia and some of the best teachers in the world. You'll have the best time of your life and improve your English. Just click the link in the description below to find out more. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe. All right. Let's now talk about when we use like to report or say again what somebody else has said. This one is so incredibly common. So next time you sit in a train or a cafe, pay attention to the people around you. I'm sure you'll hear a lot of like with this meaning. So basically when you hear was like or were like in a story, it simply means said. For example, he was like means he said, and they were like means they said. I know this sounds a little crazy, but we really say this all the time. Let me give you a real life example to make it clearer. Let's imagine I want to tell you about a conversation I had last night with my boyfriend, Matt. So I could say, Oh, you know, Matt was so nice last night. He asked me to go out for dinner. I was super tired, so I was like, maybe not. But then he was like, babe, you always cook. You deserve a break. Nice boyfriend, right? But more importantly, what was all that like that I said? See, 
I used was like to introduce the exact words we said in our conversation. I was like, maybe not, means I said, maybe not. And he was like, babe, you always cook, means that he said, babe, you always cook. It's just something we say to make the story more real, like our friend is reliving that moment with us. Trust me, it's super effective. That's why we say it all the time. And now you can start saying it in your stories too. So that's it. Now you know how to use like, like a real native speaker. My name is Nikki and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for some more great English videos every single week.